Again, I'd like to thank the Homeowner Confederation for the opportunity tonight. Uh, you've had the opportunity to hear from all four of the candidates who are running for mayor. There are differences between the two of us. Two of us have voting records, and I ask you to go check those out at the city website or even at my website. On the list of things that I talked about this morning, uh, this afternoon, we didn't have, uh, didn't discuss Water Street. Water Street is one of those things that has cost you, the taxpayers, $100,000 last year because it was supposed to be shovel ready. We went out and bonded to start working on that. It's been shovel ready for seven years. And now they went down to Springfield and got an additional uh, 12 years of which we only passed seven of that. So it's going to be off the tax rolls for the next 30 years not till 2038. And the thing is, that is going to cost you, the taxpayers, roughly about $84 million in lost sales tax revenue as well as real estate taxes because those taxes are freezed at where they were seven years ago to all the taxing entities in there. So, and the parking deck there, there's 520 spaces. Well, guess what? Only 19 of them are going to be left over for you, the customers, because the hotel is getting 120 of those. And the hotel will actually use extra ones. They pay an extra $2 a day to use those spaces. So there's something wrong when we pass that thing. And when they start doing the construction here and they fence it off, you're going to see the problems with traffic. And the developer is not paying for any of those developments around their widening roads or adding any kind of turn lanes or traffic things. So Water Street should be a lesson from us to make sure we don't do another TIF district. 